starting with the hello friends starting with the another seven basic units which are very much useful and given in the SI units very first one is called as mass there are two units of it one it's a CGS unit and another is called as its MKS unit and uh, next one we will just call it as a symbol of it so we have a uh, both those things so we will discuss about it mass mass it is uh, in the CGS it is represented by gram and uh, for the kilogram so symbol it means that it is called as a GM or it is called as a kg as mass is very much famously known as a small m next one it is called as a length usually we will use this word l for the cgs it is called as a centimeter and for the meter is called as a small m so it would be cm and m third one it is called as a time it's a unit in the both cgs and mks is called as a second it's represented by s and s symbol afterwards we will have a fourth one it is called as electric current it's a both unit in a cgs and mks common it is represented by the symbol a fifth one it is called as a amount it is represented by the unit mole and its unit is a small m sixth one it is called as a light intensity it is called as a candela it is represented by the symbol cd and the last one seventh one it is called as a temperature it is called as a in the terms of a kelvin and uh, represented by k but yes sometimes we will use this notation fahrenheit or degree celsius or celsius so widely use are kelvin but fahrenheit and celsius are also the units of it so in the si system we will discuss about mass length time these are the three fundamental units which we have discussed previously but after the SI association or you can say MKSA we have added four more it is called as electric current yes you can say that it is I this is called as amount amount of any element smallest element it is called as a mole represented by the small m light intensity it is called as a candela represented by the CD and next one is called as a temperature and it is represented by the K symbol yes there are another method to represent it let's say you can say that a cm and let's say you are saying that it is a centimeter but famous method is that you have to always show in the small alphabets then and then it is widely or universally accepted let's say i'm just mentioning that kg kilograms rather than writing full you can just use abbreviated part so it is called as a kg part next whenever we will use the name of this scientist we will use alphabets that is called as a font or uh, big alphabets or capital alphabets only for the use of name of a scientist and last not least keep in mind you cannot use any punctuation let's say you are mentioning that kilogram you cannot use kilo dot gram yes mathematically dot is okay but you are putting that kilo comma gram is not accepted so such type of things you have to keep in mind it is called as a precautions whenever you are mentioning any type of units yes there are so many exclusive parts let's say we have a capital C it is the name of the scientist called as a Coulombs so in his memory in 12th science we will discuss about it the name of the scientist for the electric charge who have invented it 
तो C is in his memory. We are putting capital C. But there is another name of this scientist uh, called as uh, Madame Curie. You may have heard about her. So she is has invented another radioactive element. So it is called as a Curie. She, her name is also starting from the C. So we are putting C. So such type of rules and regulations. Whenever you are mentioning the name of the scientist. or whenever you are mentioning their inventions or whenever you are using units yes you are allowed to use mathematical units in between let's say i'm just putting that a kilo multiply by gram it is allowed so such type of units are there let's say i am mentioning that meter per second but instead of that let's say i am mentioning that a second is to minus 1 yes it is truly allowed so in short you can say that whenever you are using units be careful either use first of all very small and fundamental rule is that put in a small alphabet name of the scientist are only placed in the, the bigger fonts or alphabets yes there are so many exclusion that whenever we have a name of the similar name of the scientist we have just seen that curie and ci or second alphabet of their names has been used you cannot use any type of normal language punctuations let's say you cannot put comma or inverted comma or nothing else but yes you are allowed to use mathematical units like multiplication division or inverse so such type of things can be allowed whenever you are mentioning units hope you may have cope up with the seven units again i am repeating mass length time electrical current amount of any substance or element light intensity and temperature and hope you will cope up with the such type of units how you can represent such type of units and what are those primitive rules for that thank you